that I have here, the allocation, fisheries, is 298, uh, yeah. A Drake had 128, water and housing, which yeah. I'm not sure which housing is taking place, has yeah. 531. Surprisingly, transport had 89. Does it yes. mean transport? And a Greek, especially being an informal, economy dominated uh, a country mm -hmm. of Ghana, is, mm -hmm. and seeing a Greek and transport getting so low allocation, yeah. we don't value that much? Well, it, it's all of, and a Greek and transport are basically two, two areas that depend on each other because if you produce so much and you don't have the road or, or the mechanism to transport these goods to the market, mm -hmm. then the, 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 the whole thing you know, ends up breaking down because if the farmers lose next time they might not plant as much and so on. But one thing about the allocations that you have just mentioned is that if you add all of them together, the interest on our debt is more than all of these allocations to all the ministries that you have mentioned. Just the interest on the debt alone is more than all the five ministries that you have mentioned. And so this is why I say it is reckless. Because you could have doubled, tripled mm -hmm. the spending on these key areas mm -hmm. if you had not gone out on that reckless yeah. borrowing Absolutely. spree. Absolutely. So it's important to prioritize these, these, what you are going to do as a government and allocate resources. If you say a Greek is the priority and it should yeah. be the priority, then why are you not allocating adequately yeah. compared to other areas? Super. Um, on 24th October, the head of political science at USD, Kwame yeah. University of Science yeah. and Technology, Professor Richard Amwakumba, he, he professed yeah, right. that uh, if Nana Akufuado wins 2016 election, yeah. he is going to inherit a country which is bankrupt. So, you've been a partner with Nana. How are you going to deal with the bankruptcy if Ghana actually succeeds in getting into yeah, the problem the we have in this country is that. The NDC government, by their governance, always ends up putting this country in bankruptcy. They mismanaged the economy. We saw what happened. We, they took us to HIPIC by the time we came into power in 2000. HIPIC economy, low income HIPIC economy. This is what President Kofor found uh, after he won power in 2000 uh, and came into government. We went for the HIPIC initiative and then pursued very good governance, good economic management. And within six years, we have transformed this economy from a low income HIPIC economy to a middle lower income. middle income uh, economy, emerging market economy that has accessed the sovereign market, B plus sovereign rating. We have quadrupled the GDP. We have brought in all sorts of interventions from National Youth Employment Program to, to um, NHIS, free maternal care, Metro Mass, transit capitation grant, major infrastructural development. From a low income, mid hippic economy without oil. Now these people have had oil, have had major uh, increases in debt, major tax revenues, increases in cocoa and gold prices, and they have collapsed everything. You see, so there's a major contrast here between MPP government and NDC government. And I believe, by the grace of God, if Nana Adodankwa Akofuado wins the 2016 election, we will work as hard as possible to, to transform this economy in whatever state we find it, because the people of Ghana will help us deliver that. Thank you very so much. So what's your last word for our listeners on I, Zara Radio? I, I thank them very much. I tell them that Nana Dodankwa Kofuado has a, a vision for Ghana, a vision for the transformation of this economy, a vision of good governance, a good vision and a practice of incorruptibility. And they should all support the NPP, support Nana Dodankwa Kofuado to win 2012, the 2016 election for the sake of our children. So everybody should get involved in whatever way possible and support Nana Kofuado to save this country from the mismanagement of the NDC. Thank you very much, Alex, Dr. Bell.